So, good evening. Ah, good evening, Mikael. Um, could I announce the new text you've put on the screen once it appears? Okay, I know, because I know you can't see. Um, okay, so on the screen at the moment, it should say, Hi there, students. And how many idioms or synonyms for food do you know? Okay, good evening, Nam Nam. Hey, hi, Javi. Great to see you. <laughs> so, well, we're going to have another action-packed uh, class. Let's see, what does Nora say? If I say poetry is known for its economic usage of words, economic here means compact and condensed, right. Good, so Vitali is getting straight down to business, and that was the first word I was thinking, grub. Chow. That's good, Cheyenne. And, heh, I know a bevy of phrases. Yeah. <laughs> Well, a be I'm going to put bevy, because a bevy is actually a drink. Nourishment. Eat out of house and home. Eat out of house and home. Yeah. yeah. Tucker. Yeah. Bush tucker. And home. Tucker. My gosh, we're going to get loads of them. Um, so, nutriment nutrients. This is more for plants, I think. And, yeah, nourishment we had. Wow, lots of you in here. To be in a pickle, yeah. Be in a pickle. To be in a difficult situation. Okay, food, a meal, as Victor Gabriel said. Meal. Ah, food for thought. We're going to get loads of these. Edible. Aye. Edible. Snack. Yeah. Hungry as a wolf. Yeah. Ed up sustenance by Cheyenne and refreshment by Mandura. Notice most normally Mandira refreshment is drinks, edibles from Aditi. And Tucker Meal Cuisine by Victor Gabriel. That's a good one. And Daily Bread. Daily Bread. And yeah, sustenance. Yeah, we had sustenance. Crips, Chris grabs snacks. Okay, bite, takeout. <laughs> Yeah, I love takeout. I have to admit it, although round here... Okay, to tuck in, to start eating. Bite off more than you can chew. To take on too much. Yeah. Uh, feed. That's uh, good. And Hussein, bring home the bacon um hmm pabulum i'm not sure of that word vitalie okay daily bread a bad apple yeah a bad influencer eat something up edibles not my cup of tea so sushi by lubaba <laughs> um aliment i think alimentary as an adjective. Bread and butter. Ravenous. Tea time. Take away. <laughs> uh, to butter someone up. I like that vibes. To butter somebody up is to be nice to them because you want something. And Diego says peckish. Yeah. Yes, definitely butter someone up counts. I love it. <laughs> Dig in to start eating a movable feast hot potato piece of cake that's good Radha piece of cake hey, not my cup of tea yeah not my cuppa chow I could eat a horse I'm really hungry variety 
is the spice of life. Wow. Cool as a cucumber. Victuals. That's a really good word, Vitalier. As cool as a cucumber. Savory from Mangira. Looks good as well. Ha. Yeah. He's a big cheese. He's really important. Eat out of the palm of my hand. That's good, Belen. Eat out of the palm of my hand. So if someone's eating out of the palm of your hand, they do exact they're doing exactly what you ask them to do. Yeah, and you can get them get them to do it. So to Wolf Down by Tomek. Okay, I'm gonna stop crying over spilt milk junk food. Hungry, hangry <laughs> and spill the beans. Eat from someone's hand. Eat like a bird, not eat much from Hussein. The proof Count Beauty of the pudding is in is in its taste. Yeah. To pig out that's a good one as well, Adam. <laughs> a cheesy song by Mikhail. Okay, um, take something with a pinch of salt, but that's good to use things from the previous ones. A couch potato, rather. I love it. I'm just bursting beans. Yeah, beans, beans, the musical fruit. Roland says, the apple of one's eye. When I was a kid, I reluctantly, reluctantly acquiesced to eat vegetables, to pig out. Yes, to eat lots and lots, Javi. To live hand to mouth. So, you wrote only just got enough 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 money to uh, eat to eat or to pay your things with so come on let's change <clears throat> and let's get into this so there is mutual there is a mutual animosity i don't like that a eh? there is mutual animosity between these two people there is no mm -mm between them yeah, bad blood, animosity, exactly. Okay, so we're getting some good answers. Manjira was in there first, and Vitalier as well. Yeah. So the apple of one's eye is the th person you love, and the gravy train as well. Yep, the phrasal verbs are coming. This is just the warm-up to get to them. So, mutual animosity between two people. There is no mm, mm. Or look at what Mangiro or Vitalia said. There's no chemistry between them. Okay, that's more positive one. Um, if there's no chemistry between them, they don't they they don't really like each other. If for a good relationship you need a bit of chemistry. Okay, so Adam, exactly. Very good Adam ZS. There's no middle ground between them. That might work actually. Ha yeah, one smart cookie, you are what you eat. So there is no love lost between them. Okay, we we use this quite often. They they really don't like each other. Um so I guess uh um yeah. yeah, North and South Korea, there's no love lost between them. Yeah? It's very difficult for the love between them to decrease because they uh, they hate each other. Yeah, um, the cat and the dog. Look at the cat and look at the dog. There's no love lost between them. Yeah, so we're using this phrase to say they don't like each other. It's impossible for them to love each other less. You couldn't lose love. Ha. Huh. Okay, so there's no love lost between them. I'm trying to think of uh, other countries between whom there there's no love lost. Well, I think very often between the the UK and France, there's no l love lost between the French and the British. There are many nice French people, but the governments don't always see eye to eye. Okay, wow. Good evening, I mean, good evening, Art as well. Okay, so, if something is unspectacular, is ordinary and rather boring, we say it is nothing to mm -mm about. Yeah, there's no love in tennis. <laughs> Very good, Cheyenne. First in there. Yeah? Yeah. And Vitalia. And Manjira. Yeah, I think you've been studying Manji. That's really good. Okay, this is one of my favourite phrases. Okay, English vibes, Antonetra, well done. 
yeah so th this is talking about when you you're away and Victor Gabriel and Aditi yeah <laughs> nothing to brag about okay I guess that would work one yeah nothing to scream and shout about that works as well hubby nothing to write home about it's very ordinary the meal we had yesterday there's nothing to write home about it nothing so special very ordinary very run of the mill yes head through this where does it derive from well in the past um people used to communicate by letter my grandmother used to write a letter to every member of her family every week um uh, and they would write her letters. So I guess when you're away from home, you have you write home a letter. Uh, uh, you every week you write home a letter. Yeah, it's nothing to boast about, nothing to be proud about, nothing to be happy about. Yeah. Um, or let's see this phrase. It's nothing to write home about. My daughter loves this phrase. When I say it's okay. But notice what everything there is in the tone. It's okay. It's not very, 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 very bad, but it's nothing to write home about. Yeah, run of the mill, exactly. Not as bad. It's not as bad as it's cracked up to be. Isn't yes. I love Black Adder, by the way, Cheyenne. He's really funny. Nothing to show. I mean. Nothing to shout from the rooftops about. That would work as well. Very good, Vitalie. Yeah, it's interesting you use the word bra but, uh, brag and boast, uh, I mean, because uh, these two are in the next question. To boast, to brag, <coughs> to emphasize one's own contributions. Yeah. Nothing to shout to the, from the rooftops about. Okay, so the next one to boast, to brag, to emphasize one's own contribution, to mm, your own mm. Yeah. So uneventful. And Cheyenne's right in there. Be very mediocre or unexceptional. Exactly, Roland. That's nothing to write home about. Well done, Cheyenne. You were in there nice and fast i like this hubby yeah this one toot your own horn um the this this i think is more american to toot your own horn but it's definitely correct to toot your own horn and let's see count beauty has got this and vitalia has got this yeah and tomek aditi Ha, beat your own drum. I think that probably works as well, Mangira. Although that translates from Spanish as well to beat your own drum. But here, the main phrase is to blow your whoops, your own trumpet. Yeah. So he's always blowing his own trumpet about. Um, how brilliant he is and how hard he works. Yes, my pal, well done. Bragging rights. Well, yeah, to toot your own horns, to me sounds a bit American. To beat your own drum, it sounds very good, but to bl he's always blowing his own trumpet. He's always bragging about how fantastic and wonderful he is. Yeah? Yeah, to blow your own horn, to swank. That's a really good word, Hussein. I like that. Swank. I'm going to write that. Yeah, he's always swanking. Being obnoxious about your own accomplishments. Absolutely, Diego. Okay, so, yeah, blow your own horn. Well, you you all know I'm the best English teacher in the world. No, I'm just blowing my own trumpet. <laughs> There's always somebody better than you out there. Yeah. Okay, yes, my pal. So, is it these are fra to blow your own trumpet? These are phrases, yeah? Okay, so to choose not to see something, to pretend not to have noticed something bad or undesirable that someone else has done, to turn a and to gloat. Yeah, that works, Nam Nam. 
Okay, so Cheyenne's right in there. Yeah. Um, and Aditi as well. Yeah, to gloat is a good word, Nam Nam. Ha. Huh. Okay, that also work. That also works. Who said that? Other the other one. I can't find it now. Yeah. I think it was Vitalia. I like. I I like. I liked your your other alternative. Okay. So, can somebody blow your horn? Yeah, I guess somebody could blow your horn. Um, Kenny. Okay, so head through this and lots of other you camp beauty to turn a blind eye. Yeah. Okay, so live. Welcome to see you. Well done, Ka uh, Juan Calduch. So to turn a blind eye. But also, I'm certain I saw Vitalia say to turn a death ear. And that you could also use. So to turn a blind eye or to turn a deaf ear. Yeah. Okay. This is when you mm, see somebody doing something wrong, but you don't want to get into an argument with them. Yeah. To gloss over. Yeah, sort of. But this is where you just pretend nothing that happened. Teachers often tend to turn a blind eye to bullying. It's true and that's really bad. Yeah, teachers should not turn a blind eye to bullying. Yeah. Look the other way. I like that, Roland. To look the other way. Okay, yeah. To take no notice of something. Yeah, to ignore it. To intentionally ignore it. That's it. That's very good. Okay, so let's see. We're going to do phrasal verbs with cut if you're ready for for them um yeah, to laugh it off mm, to laugh it off is to pre pretend it was just a joke and it wasn't serious i guess so roland so to cut to cut across or to connive at that's a great verb Vitalia, to connive at, to turn a blind eye to, to turn a deaf ear to. Yeah, this is what you were waiting for. So, give me some examples of the phrasal verb to cut across, to take a shortcut over or through a place, to go through figurative barriers, to go beyond an, ex an un unexpected boundary. This concept cuts across national boundaries. To turn a deaf ear to, exactly, Nora. Yes. Uh, we can cut, a, cut, a, cut across that field if we want to get there faster. Well done. That's my first example, Victor Gabriel. Thank you. So, I want examples we've cut across. Yeah? Um, if, we, if we cut across the high street, we can uh, get there qu more quickly. So, it's, this is just to take a short cut through somewhere. Yeah, to just go through. Um, yeah, we we we. So let's see. If you don't want to be late, you ha have to pick up, pick not up, a quick route and cut across the park. Good to cut across the red tape. That's what I was trying to put an example of together, Juan. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so cuts across. Yeah, this cuts across various boundaries. Okay, this one is an easy one to start with. Now, let's go to the next one. To cut back. Notice, transitive and intransitive. Cut back on something to reduce the amount of something. We need to cut back heavily on office supplies. Is there another vendor we can use? Technology cuts across different cultures. That's great, Roland. OK. So, to cut back. They cut across the road to make it to their destination fast. Could you cut across the essay to make it concise? Could you cut across the centre part of the essay and make it more concise? Okay, so we're we're now with cut back. 
Yeah, to reduce consumption, to reduce the amount of something. Ooh, Vitalier, concern for the environment cuts across party lines. We have to cut back on our funds. That's very good. I have to cut back on sweets because I'm getting fatter. Good, Victor Gabriel. Hussein, I followed her as she cut across the countryside instead of taking the path all the way. Good work, Hussein. And I need to cut back on eating cookies. Me too, Juan. Yeah. So, yeah, to reduce consumption. He needs to cut back on donuts. He weighs 289 pounds. We've spent a lot recently. We need to cut back. Ah. And Nora, they need to cut back the huge numbers of valets in the palace. Wow. We need to cut back our debts before the new year. That works, Count Beauty. The local authority has to cut back the refund. Mikael, some people should cut back on junk food. I quite agree, Mikael. Cut back, cut down, exactly. They're the th yes, they're the same. To economise, I mean, exactly. So, to decline, to say, yet to decrease, yeah. Um, but notice, to decline doesn't say who does it, nyam nyam. Um, whereas cut down, you do it on purpose. Good evening, Edge. If you feel tired, you should cut back on your exercise hours. That works. Sorry to cut across you. That was a really good one, Vitaly. Thank you for that cut across. You should cut back on your sugar intake. Exactly. We need to cut back on narrow-minded approaches, Aditi. Mind you, we have to cut back on electricity consumption. Good. I mean, because of capitalism, we have to cut back on breakfast and dinner. Good. To decline, to go down, to make go down. Yam, yam. Absolutely. The opposition won't... Uh, accept any more cutbacks on education. Very good. So, to cut back, cut down. Any difference, Matus? Um, I think in, in the idea of reduced consumption, no. Let, let me put cut down here and we can see it in a second. We need to cut back our emissions into, into our planet. Yes. I'm cutting back on eating chocolate biscuits. I cut back on eating chocolate biscuits last year because I was too addicted to them. My pal, I'm cutting back on processed food to lose weight. Yes, exactly. Planet. Uh, cut back. So, cut back intransitive. Cut back on something. Yeah, we need to cut back. We need to cut back on spending. Hussein, I saw some clothes for cut back prices. I would say cut down prices here. Yeah, they cut back on the prices. The prices have been cut down. I'm trying to cut back, cut down on caffeine. I actually like Hussein's example because it needs to be down instead of back. Yeah, um... I, I saw some clothes that they had cut back on the prices. Yeah, they had cut the prices down. Hello, Edge. So, hi, left or right. We need to cut down on savoury food. Yeah, we should cut back prejudice in society via education. So, to cut down, to bring down by cutting, they cut down a tree. They want to cut down several trees to make room for the parking block to insult to belittle so yeah he cut he cut me down yeah um he's always cutting me down uh, so some a few smart comments should cut you down to size so to reduce the amount of something he wants to cut down on extra steps please don't put the candy jar right next to my desk i'm trying to cut down on sugar and then one final one here is a bit dated to slay often in great numbers to slay meaning to kill um millions of people were cut down during the first world war okay and let me get back here yeah we need to cut down on savory food we should cut back prejudice in society she cut down she cut she cut her down in front of everyone a good example of belittle manjira 
he was cut down by the uproar of the crowd. Good. Um, to prune. Yeah, that works, Nam Nam. And Vitalier. All the trees damaged in the storm were cut down. Good. Many soldiers were cut down during the two wars. Good, Victor. And Roland. Cut back on something. Cut down on something. Nyam Nyam exactly to prune. He was cut down by machine gun fire. Absolutely, Vitalier. Okay, so notice. To bring down by cutting. To insult to belittle to reduce the amount of and to slay in, in great numbers cut down not quite put down so put to, to well, i wouldn't use cut down put down for example in reduce to slash absolutely yam yam um okay so to put down to put down i would i would never use put down as a, as a reduction he put his prices down he brought his prices down to slash absolutely yam yam and aditi it's not wise to cut down children all the time i love that aditi the soldier was cut down by a sniper's bullet good by fl flouting the, s the social conventions on purpose they have blatantly cut down the norms for the good of having fun that's a good example of belittle nora i love it uh get through this diabetic patients or a diabetic patient has to cut down on sugar cut down on through this not of cut down on in the sense of humiliating okay yes i'm sorry vibes i missed that yeah a put down to put down to cut down exactly okay i got the wrong end of the stick there vibes but you're quite right cut down your bees please <laughs> Okay, to curb, um, to put down as in to belittle or to insult. Um, thank you, Yam Yam. Okay, cut down on sugar, absolutely. Okay, so yeah, let's get, let's try another one then. So I put spaces between these, and I shouldn't have really done it. Okay, to cut in. Um, to intrude or interrupt. He cut in while I was talking to my friend. To join a queue in the middle as opposed to the back. Do you mind if I cut in? Yes, I do mind. I've been waiting here for 20 minutes. And then this far last one is a bit dated. But if somebody is dancing already with a partner, do you mind if I cut in? This is to cut in as well. So, and... Um, cut down someone, put them down and trivialise them. Yes, that works, Vibes. I'm sorry about the, the bit I all said before. The car cut in front of me. Exactly. He cut in. Um, oh, what's it? He cut me up. Yeah. He cut in our conversation. Absolutely, Renyard. Yeah, to cut into a conversation. Um... To cut in, to invade? Mm, probably not. Um, yeah, so to join a queue in the middle, to cut in, a queue jump, to push in, to jump the queue. I'm sorry to cut in, but you should hear this. Good example, Edge. And Vibe. Sorry to cut in, but can you tell me where this building is? Good. I like that, Vibe. Sorry to cut in. Are you talking about cricket? Yes, I was talking about cricket to Aditi the other day. Congratulations to India as well. You absolutely thrashed England and you were by far and out the better team. Very clear. Okay, Victor Gabriel, I don't like it when people cut in line in front of me. Good. Sorry for cutting in your lovely conversation with my witty remark. This message is urgent, the boss cut in. Good. He cut into our conversation and we broke off abruptly. So I think probably cut and also in and into works quite well as well. I'll cut you in. How okay to cut somebody in? That's very good, Hussein. Is to give somebody a cut, a part of something. I'll cut you in. I'll give you a part of the profits. Look, 
let's buy this car we're going to sell it and make a lot of money um, and like that I'll cut you into the deal the journalist cut in to ask a question. That's great, uh, Vitalier. Sorry for cutting in, gentlemen. The pub is closing in 10 minutes. That's great. Mikhail, a lot of people in the Russian-speaking world will cut in the queue, in the line, and get away with it as opposed to that, M Mikhail. He cut in ahead of me in the grocery line. God, it's so annoying. My friend cuts in to the meeting job to the work meeting or cuts in during the work meeting when the commander speaks it's not for soldiers to cut in absolutely I mean Nora he enjoys cutting in the lecture from time to time he's been a source of nuisance absolutely ha huh. so to cut in to suddenly start working that's quite a good one the air conditioning cut in it suddenly started working the opposite of that is to cut out to stop working yeah but we'll see that in a minute okay um so M Mikhail to get away n normally the phrase is to get away with it yeah you could say that and that is grammatically correct Mikhail but the, the phrase is to get away with it he's always getting away with it that's the collocation yeah get away with it whereas that is not the uh, collocation the bus driver got angry when that car cut in great Manjira and I don't like it when uh, dogs cut in when dogs cut in so can you cut me in on one of your deals that's really good Vitalia yeah give me a part of it let me participate I wish, wish my mum would stop cutting into my conversations with my friends on the phone he cuts in organizing the party god that's so annoying Roland isn't it yeah. I stopped him to cut in with my girlfriend. Okay, yeah, that works definitely. So let's go to the next one then. The next one is cut off. Yeah, I'm going to, because like this, it fits better, not completely. Okay, so to cut off, to remove by a cutting. Yeah, he cut off the end of the piece of paper. To isolate or remove, I want to wait a second, yeah. Um, okay, to cut off, to remove via cutting. He cut off the end of the piece of string. To isolate or remove from contact. He was cut off from the outside world. Yeah, he's cut off. He can't talk to anybody. To stop the provisional supply of something, for example, power or water. If you don't pay the electricity bill, they're going to cut, cut it off. Um, to stop providing funds to someone. Yeah, um, I'm going to cut you off without a penny. I'm not going to continue to supply you with money. His parents cut him off to encourage him to find a job and to end abruptly. So, the air conditioning cut off or the motor cut off. It suddenly stopped working. Okay. And could you cut a piece of chocolate off the bar? That would do. Probably break though, Victor. Nora, um, cut off is equal to dislodge. No, not di to to dislodge is something that's fixed in a place and you pull it out, yeah. Whereas cut off, you actually need some sort of cutting with it, Nora. Okay, Amimor, great to see you. Cut the head off the onions, absolutely. The government cut off wa water. Woof, the water. People would be very upset. Adam, mind that you don't you don't. Huh mind that you don't cut off, cut your finger off you missed the f cut Adam Rainyard the village is almost cut off from civilization good the village was cut off after the mudslide good Matus Mikael after the hurricane the town was cut off electricity so after the hurricane the electricity was cut off 
the town was also cut off. The town was separated, rem isolated, and the electricity was cut off, was stopped. She cut off the split ends. Absolutely, vibes. I want to cut the fact off the fiction. Okay, yeah. I want to cut the fat off the meat as well. The electricity cut his house off. So, Camp Beauty, the electricity company cut his house off due to debts, due to unpaid debts. Left or right, the man had his arm cut off as a punishment for cutting in the queue. Wow, that's pretty heavy. Amy Moore, she was cut off from her family for marrying against their will. Very good, Amy Moore. They stopped providing funds to her. My cuisine, to deprive. We got, got cut off from pessimistic company for healthy growth of our mind. We have got to cut off. We have got to cut ourselves off from pessimistic company uh, for healthy growth of our mind. OK, Victor. While surfing on the internet, we got cut off. Yeah, it ended abruptly. To cloister. Yeah, isolated, removed. Absolutely, yam yam. And her saying, when I turned 18, my parents cut me off without a penny. So you had to fend for yourself. Why did you cut me off when I was speaking? That's very good. You cut in and cut me off. And Juan, he had to find a job as soon as his dad cut his monthly alimony off. I think alimony is normally in a divorce, Juan. His monthly assignment, I'm trying to think, he's support something like that Juan head through this in Dominican Republic in the D Dominican Republic it is frequent to cut off the el the electric energy yeah so in the Dominican Republic they frequently cut off the electricity I mean when I was married I my parents cut me off the other way around I mean witness the donor cut off the sponsorship grants because of allegations of corruption. Mangira, my granny cut my pa off from the property. That works. Vitalia, she doesn't like doing the shopping on Saturday afternoon because it cuts into her weekend. That's very nice as well. Um, having an arm cut off just because he jumped the queue. Yeah, it's pretty draconian, pretty harsh. I'm cutting out carbs so that I can lose weight. Yeah, that works, Stephanie. Roland, the monk cuts himself off completely from the rest of the world in order to achieve a higher spiritual state. Ah, yes, I've, I have still got more here. To interrupt or to swerve in front of another car, to cut in. That car cut me off. OK, so let's see. I've... To end abruptly, my phone call was cut off before I could get the information. To interrupt someone, he cut me off as I was about to conclude my explanation. And to swerve in front of another car while driving. Also cut up. Yeah, that car cut me off. It makes me really angry. And the director cuts off the performance of the play without showing the technical reason for doing so. That works, Nora. Renyard. You, you must yeah, cut off from these people to avoid being cut off from support. You must cut yourself off from these people to avoid being cut off from financial support. Unfortunately, poor people are cut off from the benefits of education. Good. My cuisine, I was cut off my education. My education was cut off. Yeah, I put it the other way round. Normally something is cut off. Yeah, somebody who supplies something cuts it off. My chainsaw has cut off, given out, cut out, all possible. Good matters. Are we talking on the, f we were talking on the phone, but the, t the connection cut off. Okay, so to cut out. Yeah. Ah, let's see. Ah, OK, my son. Yes, now I understand, Renyard. The drunk driver cut off our new Corvette. So you honked your horn at him, I bet. Um, Roland, poor people are robbed, are cut off from the possibility of a proper education. 
Here, do not cut off a piece of bread. Break it off. Okay, that definitely works as well. So, let's see. To cut out. To separate into parts. Or with... <laughs> with or as if with a sharp-edged instrument to sever to separate into parts to sever um cut out the letters and paste them on the poster cut round the edge of to cut out to refrain from doing something using something to stop to cease he had to cut out smoking in order to be prepared for the marathon she kept clicking her heels he told her to cut it out oh cut it out i don't want to hear any more of that okay so um vitalia they had to cut off his clothes in the icu that definitely works and alexon alex alexei we were cut off electricity so the other way round alexei the electri we w uh, the electricity was cut off they cut off the electricity yeah and navi the government has cut off the essential parts of tax relief that could hurt vibes the kid drew a heart shake cut it out and gifted it to her mother great when they heard the police coming they cut out right away they left absolutely new year resolutions are a good way to cut out your bad habits good left or right he cut his parents out of his life good example nora he cuts out smoking for the sake of maintaining his health the malignant brain tumor had to be cut out animal the all my allowances were cut out to stop me from squandering it's very good animal um, I was saying my uncle's car engine cuts out every time. I would probably say all the time, but every time does work. The power suddenly cut out because a lorry destroyed the wires when it was passing on the road. Is that all of these? Okay, to cut out as well. To remove, to admit, to omit. If we cut out the middleman, we will both have better profits to cut out, to stop working, to switch off, of a person on the telephone as well, to be inaudible. So it was around then that the engine cut out. Can you say that again? Uh, you keep cutting out, your voice keeps cutting out. That's one of the problems of a bad in internet connection. Yeah, it, internet keeps cutting out, it stops working. Okay. Ah, Nora. She cuts out using long sentences to make her information more comprehensible to her readers. Good, Nora. Vitalia. The engine kept cutting out, so I took the car to the garage. Good. Victor Gabriel. Is chard, chard, the vegetable, with a ch, not shard. A shard is a little piece, a little sharp piece. Chard is a vegetable. Nora. Um, wordy expression. Um, well, we could say tautology, um, wordy works, um, it doesn't come to me directly. Navid, you've cut out those parts because they don't look appropriate over there. Good. Vibe, she put on so much weight from eating too many sweets and she finally decided to cut out cut confectionery out completely we should cut out any kind of bias in the competition yes a fridge can definitely cut out and then you need to mend it victor vitalia he had to cut out starchy foods for a couple of weeks she always cuts out okay it's a very american meaning that she goes when she gets bored Renyard, the rebels were cut out by SWAT and neutralized one by one. I guess the SWAT cut them down as well. Okay, so I think we are. Oh, we, um, we haven't actually done this one, this one as well. This is cut out, usually in the passive, about people to be suitable for something. He's not cut out to be a doctor. I'm not cut out to do this. 
I think I'm cut out to be an English teacher, though. Juan, you keep cutting out. I can't understand what you're saying. Great example, Juan. I'm not cut out for all these late nights. Very good. Yeah, I'm not. It's not suitable for me. Yeah, it's not something that's very good. So, are you cut? Are you cut out to be a, a, uh, an English speaker? Okay, so to be cut out for something, to be cut out to do something. Wow, that was a lot of meaning. So, Nora, because of his unnerving demeanour, he has to cut it out so as not to frighten his baby daughter. Yeah, he has to stop it. The fridge is cut out. We need to get another one. That works perfectly, Victor Gabriel. So, I think that's probably enough for today, my friends. Very good work. I will be back again next week. We'll do another phrasal verb. We'll do a few idioms. And thank you all so much for coming. You've been a great group as always. Ha! Hi, R Riffman Seaglow. Unfortunately, we're just stopping now. So, I will see you all next week. Same time, same channel. Enjoy, stay safe, and take care.